your general manager talking about uh, Evander Kane. There's a lot of talk about him coming to the Edmonton Oilers. I guess your thoughts on uh, bringing a player with a history of his into your fold? Well, I think both sides are still doing their due diligence. I know Ken and his staff have talked about it. He mentioned it to me yesterday that, uh, that they were looking at it. And uh, uh, from what I read, Evander Kane's doing his due diligence about us too. So it's probably premature. I haven't seen him play this year. You know, I've watched him play in the past. He, he's been a good player, but until uh, until everybody does their due diligence, it's uh, it's mute point for me. Let let us in a little on like we all know he's a good player, right? He helped your team. Uh, you're a hockey coach. You're paid to win games. You want good players. Yet there's another element here to to think about whether you want him in with your group and stuff. How do you deal with that as a head coach? Well, you I think every single case is different. You. If we get down the road and, and we become an option for them, then you do a lot of talking, see where, see where things go. And you analyze it from where the perspective of everything is. If you think you can help your team, you, you uh, analyze and see if you can help your team. But we're not, we're not that far yet. So I'm not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not jumping into that game yet. There's, I got lots to, we got nine players on the, ice today for practice there's there's lots more to worry about with our group than whether a player you know decides wants to come play for us obviously there's a lot of talk about Evander Kane maybe coming here just can you give me a thought on what you think of the situation if, if Ken Holland brought him in yeah I mean obviously um, I, there's lots of talk going around um, you know I've talked to Kenny I think that's why everyone likes Kenny so much uh, as, as he is such an open book and you know he uh keeps that open line of communication with with his guys and um, you know for sure uh, know the situation and and uh, yeah so you, you don't think it would if he comes in it would be disruptive in your room or have you guys had that discussion about how you kind of would fit in and, and well do you know him at all actually um, you know truthfully I don't think that's a bridge we need to really cross until uh, until um, you know something is 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 more official you know right now it's all speculation and um, you know, obviously, uh, Evander's an amazing player, and um, you know, he's had uh, lots of success over the last couple of years. And you know, whatever whatever else is uh, has been going on is not really something that uh, I, I look into much. I'm just wondering with Evander Kane. You know, this is a player that was suspended for a quarter of the year because of forging a vaccination card. I, I just wonder. I, okay, we're talking. About, it's a mute point. Okay. For me, if you want to ask Ken those questions, I have. I'm not going to try to coach a guy that that uh, is not on our team, right? So if if he, he ends up in Edmonton, then you could ask me all those questions. But right now, there's it's a mute point for me. I haven't even thought about it. Your leadership group has all been here for a while. It's by all accounts a very stable group of, you know, this team doesn't have a lot of drama around it. Should we be concerned? Should we should when there's a lot of concern about bringing a guy like Evander Kane into the fold? Is should anyone be concerned about that, or should it not be a problem? I mean, kind of touched on it earlier. Again, it's 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 a situation that I don't think we need to uh, to really talk too much about until you know something's a little bit more official. Um, you know, again, I touched on it. I think Evander's a, a great player and, and can help us a lot on the ice, um, and that's uh, that's first and foremost. I'm sorry, Connor, to belabor this, and, and respectfully, I, I get where you're, where you're coming from. He's not here. We know he's not here, Evander Kane, that is. But given that we are in a global pandemic and there, there could be some optics issues, perhaps, with, with bringing him in, do you feel that in, in regards to what happened and, and in terms of his suspension, would there be optics issues here with, with bringing a player like that in? Um, I'm not really here to discuss optic issues. Um, you know, if, if fans don't like it or the media doesn't like it or – Whatever I think, um, you know, it's it's it, it is what it is. You know, I'm sure there's lots of things that go on on the ice and and, and whatnot that that fans don't like, and and uh, you know we don't necessarily have to discuss those up up here with you guys. So, um, you know, the the public opinion is uh, is something that uh, um, obviously matters a lot. Um, you know, but you know we're here to try to win games and and, and try to 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 uh, you know put together a, a good team on the ice and. Um, you know, if Kenny thinks that that's that's what he can do. Then that's what he can do. I think, uh, you know, Kenny's got uh, got our, our full support and what he does.